Okay, here we go again with this logo tutorial. Last time I showed you how to create a new file and uh, I'm going to go to image and image size and how it needed to be 364 in the width by 75 in the height with a resolution of 72. Okay, so width, pixels, height, pixels, resolution 72. And um, let's see here. All right, cancel that. And then I um, with the new file, I did a, tra a transparent background instead of a white background. And then I took the text tool and I put some text here. So now I'm going to talk about some other things you can do with the text. Well, another thing you can do with the text is I can highlight this text right here. And, and I can open up this guy right here. See this right here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's right here. I'm right over here. All right. And I can change the, um, the height of the text here. Let's see here. Oh, that's not the height. What am I doing? Um, right here I could change the height of the text 140% right that's one thing I could do I could not take the C and I could also do 140% change the this is the character panel the character panel you could just rip it off and drag it over here for now where is it oh I lost it doggone it where's the character panel window character. There it is. I want to detach it. There we go. So now I have it detached. Stick it up here. And I could change individual letters by highlighting them with the text tool. Notice I have the text tool that I'm using, right? So danscourses.com. I could also highlight this C and I could change the width of it, let's say to 120%. Make this one 120%. I don't know that that's that great or anything. It's not you know, I'm just playing around, just fooling around. That's the main thing. Okay. Um, all right, I'll move this over here for now. Nope, I don't like that there. Got to figure out where I want these panels. There we go. I'll take this panel and move it over here and then click right there to collapse it into a little box. All right, then here's this other tool. I've got the text tool, right? Um, highlight the text. Click this tool right here. This is the warp text tool. This is another thing that I could do if I wanted to, just for fun, just to check stuff out. I could make it a fish eye. I could make it a uh, arc. Right? You just do the arc, and then you put the amount of arc that you want. You know, a little marquee type of thing here, right? Or under, right? You could change horizontal distortion, right? That kind of thing. Cancel. Not really digging that. I'm um, not feeling that. Um, could do a uh, a wave or a flag. Let's see here, flag. There you go. Could change the amount here. All right. Could change the horizontal distortion. Extremely. Whoa. Whoa. Anyway, you can just play with this tool. It's pretty cool. You have to have the text tool, and this is the warp text. Um, property dialog box. It's kind of cool. But regardless, I've got this dancecourses.com right now. I could add a text of, uh, uh, let's see here, a f layer, layer style. Let's do that. Let's do layer, layer style, outer glow, right? And since my site, right, has orange um, kind of a theme to it, I could click on this little color chip right here. So what did I do, by the way? Cancel. I went to layer, layer style, outer glow. And that puts a layer style on my layer that I have the text on. And I'll change that to maybe to orange. Right? Click OK. Now I've got an orange color. Right? And I could make it more opaque or less opaque. I could take up the spread a little bit and the size a little bit to get more of a orange glow around my text right there right that looks good I could change the contour right here into a strange contour I usually like the default one for most things let's see here just the default is that straight line right there there you go and I'm gonna say okay to that right now alright so now I just have this glowing text now up here I can switch back between my different um, projects that I have open. 
All right. And um, I wanted to show you how I did some of these other things, but first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to what we were working on. Um, I'm going to go File, Open, and I'm going to open a um, picture here. Let's see here, Router, Router. Yeah, that one's cool. Let's open this one. I've gotten to have a picture here by uh, Ryan Reagan of a router. And since we do networking in this class, in, in my classes also, I have a networking portion that I do. I just thought maybe we can put in this router that he took a photograph of right from my class. All right, so there's the photograph of the router. Right now, you can see here that when I bring up this router picture, it's 12% its actual size. So it's pretty darn big. Right, I mean, this thing. If I if I hit Control Plus on my keyboard and I go up to 100%, you'll see. I mean, that thing is huge. Hold down my space bar and move around. I mean, this thing is pretty huge. But that, you know, it's just way too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Image, Image Size, and I'm going to change. To start with the resolution from right here. Uh, have Resample Image set on, and I'm going to change the um, width let's say to a thousand right yeah that looks good click OK alright that's much smaller alright still way too big so image image size and make sure that resample image is selected and maybe I'll change the resolution to 90 click OK and now that's how big the image is period Right, that's how big it is, period. I'm going to go up here to this panel right here, Arrange Documents, and I'm going to say Float All in Windows, and that puts all of my images that I have open in these little floating separate windows, right? So there's the one I, I did before, right? Here's my first one. Here's my new one, okay? And what I'm going to do is I want to incorporate the picture of the... Um, switch. This, in this case it's a switch up here and down below is a router. What I want to do is incorporate this picture into my logo, let's say, for instance. Right? So all I have to do is take this picture, get my selection tool, black arrow, right? And I'm just going to click on the image, drag and drop it into my other document. So now I've done that. So now in sample logo you can see I have two layers here now and I have also these effects showing on my text layer see that? I can show the effects or collapse them and I think I'm going to need to drag the picture of the um, switch and router below the text so I'll do that and so now I have uh, the dance courses text and behind it notice I have the picture selected I have this picture of the router right? and I can I think what I might need to do is make that whole thing maybe even smaller or maybe not but what I can do is now that I have uh, the dance courses and I have this router I can play with how I'm gonna make that fit in and uh, one thing that I might do is a I might put a, a layer mask on this um, router picture so that I can have a blend so I can um, bleed out the edges of the image so that it fades in on the website you could see that with, let's see here, not with that one, with this one. See how I have um, my image fading out to transparency so that it fades in nicely on my web page at Dance Courses so that it's not just an abrupt box, but that it fades in. So I could try to do something like that here, and I'll show you how to do that in the next movie.